CSS selectors are mostly used for two things, styling elements and grabbing references to elements using JavaScript. The syntax for CSS selectors is powerful, maybe more powerful than you know. And using them to the fullest extent can simplify your markup and your code. For example, when you have a number of fields in a form, it is natural to have a name attribute on them. Often, I see developers add classes so they can reference each field individually. This can be simplified using one of CSS lesser known selectors, the attribute selector. The CSS attribute selector is used by putting the desired attribute name and value in brackets right after the element. By doing that, the selector only matches elements with a key value pair. So in our example, we can use the name attribute instead of having to put distinct classes on our form fields. And it doesn't end there. The attribute selector is also capable of doing partial matches with an attribute value. You can use these other syntaxes to make a selector match if the attribute value contains, starts, or ends with a given string. This can be really handy to select entire groups of elements using query selector all. Quite useful, right? Well, I thought so. If only there was more microtips. But wait, there are more microtips, and you should watch all of them. So subscribe to this channel and watch more videos over there.